this video that I'm talking about needs no introduction. I was going to be, I was supposed to talk about it yesterday. Um, but, you know, some things came up and by the title of this video, you already know what I'm talking about. Um, I have a lot of people in my life that struggle with depression and I help them all. Um, luckily, I was able to get them out that little hole that they were in or, you know, that little shell that they couldn't get out of. Um, years ago, also myself, also struggled with this, uh, but I was able to convince myself and to tell myself that there were more things that were more important than making a selfless act. Um, last night, somebody that was, that is really close to me, was planning on doing the same thing. Um, but the worst thing is, when I was getting the text back to back, it was a lot more worse than the other. And it really, really broke my heart that I was seeing all this and that all this was going on and it felt like I couldn't do anything about it. But I, me, I don't stop at anything to help somebody get through depression or um, thinking suicide. This person that I really know was texting me that they were, you know, they were looking for certain items, um, a box cutter in particular. I was thinking other things, but I have other people that went through that type of things, razor blades, um, pills. Now to anybody else that's actually dealing with this or that's going through something like this, think about the people that are around you and that the people that it will affect. When this happens, when this happens, this affects everybody around you, no matter if you think you're alone or if you think they don't care. Somebody always would care, always. No matter who it is, they can be giving you the worst attitude for your whole for their whole lifespan. But deep down, they'll cry. It can also cause it can also cause chain reactions. You know, to for them to actually commit suicide or for them to fall into a deep depression state or you know, to, for them to actually to think suicidal thoughts. Now, to anybody that's struggling with this period and you have somebody that's there that will, that loves you, that genuinely loves you and that cares for you, even if it's one person, live, no matter what, live. It's a self, it's very a selfless act. It's very selfish for somebody to commit suicide because their life is too hard or because they're dealing with somebody that is not listening or anything of that sort. No matter what, there was always a helping hand or an ear you just need to utilize that, always. You need to take that and make that to your advantage and go further. No matter what, always try to push through that. Now, this is very urgent because I've had too many friends too many loved ones that 
came to me and said that they were dealing with this. And me personally, it really concerns me how many people think this in the world. So, other than that, I want to tell you guys, no matter what, there's always somebody out there that will listen to you. Always somebody out there that loves you. Always somebody out there that will help you get through this problem. You just cannot give up. That's the number one thing. Don't ever give up. So, just please don't be selfish. And know that there's always somebody that loves you.